private purchases of electric cars in Germany in January pretty much saved the German automotive industry from shrinking again. In fact, an increase of in EV sales of a staggering 54% seems to have really turned things around for a, a country that, to be honest, had been moving away from electric cars. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. German EV registrations increased by 53.5% in January. The German Federal Motor Transport Authority registered 34,500 new electric cars in January compared to December. New electric cars registrations increased, well, pretty significantly. Now, only a small increase in EVs versus December, but because car sales in January are always lower than December, the numbers were actually pretty surprising. In fact, electric cars outperformed diesel cars. 34,500 new electric cars are a full 12,000 more new registrations than in the same month last year. That's an increase of 53.5% compared with January last year. Now, that's a remarkable result. However, admittedly, January of last year wasn't a particularly great month. Now, the government actually discontinued the environmental bonus subsidy for the purchase of electric cars by private customers in December of the previous year, and then new electric car registrations without a subsidy plummeted at the start of the year. So, I mean, that was part of the reason why EV sales went down. Since then, they have recovered a bit over the course of the year and leveled off at a fairly constant level around 35,000 units, says Electriv.com. In January, 937 more electric cars were newly registered than in December. But what this means is that EV sales, either they had a pretty terrible few months at the start of the year in 2024, seem to have turned around. While electric cars have grown strongly year over year, the overall market has shrunk, the car market in Germany has shrunk by 2.8%. And I mean, economists are very concerned. They believe the German car market, the German... The German economy is in a lot of trouble. According to the KBA, 207,640 new cars were registered in January in all of Germany. This gave the 34,500 EVs a market share of 16.6%, which was pretty much exactly double the market share of electric cars in the United States. In January, in the United States, market share for EVs was 8.8%, and that's even with big subsidies. I mean, if I think in Germany, if you get subsidies of seven and a half thousand US dollars, you'd find that um, you know that EV set percentage could go up to twenty five, even thirty percent. But this is a big positive development compared to twenty twenty four as a whole, when the share of electric cars was thirteen percent without subsidy. So they've gone from thirteen percent up to eighteen point eight percent. It's actually a pretty a pretty impressive number considering Germany was doing quite badly. But with limited subsidies in 2023, the average figure was still 18.4%. So in other words, EV sales are still, well, basically at the same level that they're at in 2023 when there was subsidies. In addition to the almost 34,600 new electric cars, 17,700 plug-in hybrids were sold in January. That means they had a market share of 8.5%. So if you add in EVs and plug-in hybrids together, you're looking at Total market share around 26-27%. Plug-in hybrid sales increased by 23% compared to January 2024. So you can see EV sales are increasing at a faster pace than plug-in hybrid sales. If battery electric cars and plug-in hybrids are added together, then that means more than a quarter of all new cars in Germany had an EV, a plug, a charging point, so you can actually plug them in. Now, what about it when it comes to internal combustion engine cars? How are they going in Germany? Well, the lead of pure petrol cars over hybrids continues to shrink. 62,400 new registrations had a petrol engine, which corresponds to a market share of 30%, but a decline in sales of well, about 24% actually compared to January of last year. So EV sales are up nearly 55% in January, but traditional combustion engine cars are down by 23.7%. New diesel cars also lost ground. They lost 19.5% of new registrations year over year, with 32,956 diesel cars sold, amounting for a market share of 15.9%. So EVs had about 18 or nearly 19% market share, and diesel vehicles had around 16% market share. 
That means that diesel cars are lagging behind purely electric cars. And in addition, kind of an unusual one here, there was actually 860 new registrations for liquid petroleum gas-powered cars. That's 0.4% market share. However, there was zero sales of natural gas or hydrogen-powered vehicles. Literally zero hydrogen-powered vehicles were actually sold in January. Purely electric or partially electric drives or vehicles increased, sales increased in January, while all pure combustion engines decreased in terms of registration significantly. This was also reflected, fortunately, in CO2 emissions in Germany. CO2 emissions were actually 9.5% below the previous year. However, at 113.5 grams per kilometer, that was still way above the EU target of 95 grams. New electric car registrations must therefore continue to rise over the course of the year in order to reduce fleet emissions. And basically, automakers will have to pull with Tesla, basically pay Tesla uh, hundreds of millions of dollars this year in order to avoid massive fines in the European Union. So which vehicles sold the best? Well, it's true that Tesla sales in Europe have definitely gone down so far over the last couple of months. But one of the reasons is that people know that there's a brand new Model Y. So it's not just the negative sentiment around Tesla. It's also, it's maybe a combination of that, but also the fact that there's a brand new Model Y Juniper and most people would be waiting for that. However, Tesla still took first place with 1,277 registrations, even though the US manufacturer did lose 59.5% of its sales compared to January last year. But when the new Model Y comes out, I mean, I think that sales might rebound pretty significantly. MG, though, might have actually been ahead of Tesla in January because they actually sold 1,645 registrations. There's a bit of confusion, though, because um, some of those are actually hybrids, so we're not sure. It does look like Tesla actually sold the most electric cars for, brand, for a brand in January in Germany. Polestar had a great month. Polestar actually delivered 235 vehicles, which was growth of 113.6%. And so did BYD. BYD delivered 235 cars, which was growth of 69%. All other electric car brands uh, are kind of pretty low, to be honest. Xpeng, 94. Vinfast, 28. Lucid, 19. Neo, 18. Can't believe that Vinfast sold more cars than Neo. Cadillac 14, Maxus 7, which is basically like MG, and a Fisker Ocean was registered in Germany for the first time, despite the fact that Fisker have gone bankrupt. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. 